Good afternoon still. It's raining, so still feeling a bit low. I thought I would show a deck. Maybe that'll help. Probably not, but I can't run anymore, so I had to cut it short at six miles for today. I guess that'll be enough because it's raining, but I wanted to show something called the Neon Tarot, which comes in a you know, I'm not really into boxes, but I wish I had a bunch of these because these are, that's kind of nice. It's easy, simple, feels pretty sturdy. There's probably a way to buy them. But that's what the back looks like. I think it's right side up. It's hard to tell. I turned the lights off because this was getting a glare. I still think it has a glare right over there in that corner. Sorry if it's too bad to see. I can put my hand there briefly so you can see the magician and, and maybe the empress. I mean priestess. Empress. It looks like, uh, what's the guy's name? X-Men, the magician guy. Um, Gambit, I think. So it does come with a little book which has some reference to Lots of references to cyberpunk. It tells us what the suits have been changed to. Swords become arms. War wands become wires. Cups become vials. Pentacles become zent. I have no idea what zent is. And the page knight, queen, king become apprentice, agent, supervisor, executive. But there's all this talk about the plate being above the plate and beneath the plate. I don't know what the plate is. I guess I'm not into whatever this cyberpunk stuff is he's referring to. AI, cyborgs. I'm a kind of cyborg. I got my eyes replaced, right? Corporations run amok. I mean, it's got a whole thing going there. Something about when the pink neon moon shows up, things get magical. But anyway, that's enough of that. <laughs> Here's the person's card that does it. It's got a cool name, Pixel Occult. I think it's all one word, maybe. There's all the info. Uh, here's the Fool card up close. Definitely pink, purple, black. Is that purple, violet? I'm not sure. And light blue. And that's what the back looks like. I'm not sure you could tell up from down. I don't think so. Nah, probably not. Doesn't matter. So there's three rows of seven. Let's find a hermit going the wrong way. Well, I guess there's not a wrong way, but typically he's going left. Huh. A lot of symbology just kind of thrown in here and there. That's interesting. Would I use it? Probably not. Is it interesting? Yeah. And with my newfound appreciation for anyone who can digitize and get these things printed, uh, I, I admire that no matter what's on the cards. Because it's not a simple thing. At least the three places I've tried the last place is even more complicated than the first two I've tried. But I'm not going to try them all. There's a whole list of places I could try, but I'm, I'm going to stop after the three and then probably go back to the first one and do the cards I want to do there. These are wires. The cards would just be for me anyway. I did see something I liked. I forget where it was. I'll keep going. Here come the vials. I think maybe it was in the vials. No, is that lined up right? Because these easily would overlap and kind of block each other. Let's try right about there. Is that out of the glare or something? I think so. And the last one is arms. Arms. Hmm. 
Ouch. Okay, ouch. It's a lot of ouches. I guess it was the fool card that reminded me of it's like I get the sense that this is several things mushed together like the matrix <laughs> Johnny mnemonic uh, underworld uh, I can't remember now what's the another one maybe blade <laughs> but oh, it's an interesting idea but that was a quick, hopefully, show of the Neon Moon Tarot. So with that, I will say 